ExpressVPN Guide, Set Up Media Streamer on PlayStation 3, PS3. Use this tutorial to learn how to set up your PlayStation 3 with Media Streamer by changing your DNS settings. Media Streamer not working? To use the Media Streamer DNS servers, you must sign in to your hostname provider and register your IP address with ExpressVPN. See the instructions below on how to do this. Contents, get your DDNS hostname. Sign in to update your hostname. Get your DNS server IP address. Configure the DNS servers on your PS3. Register your hostname to access Media Streamer with DDNS. 1. Get your DDNS hostname. Note, Dyna's standard free service is perfectly sufficient for most users. You do not need to create more than the four free host names in order to use Media Streamer. Go to https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and click create account. Create your account to receive the account verification email from Dynu. Open the link in the verification email then log in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and select DDNS services. Click on and add to add a DDNS service. If you do not have a host name already, enter your desired host name in option 1 and click and add. This is the recommended option FO users who are not familiar with domain names. If you already have your own domain name, enter your domain name in option 2 and click and add. Once done, you will see your host name and your current public IP. Uncheck both wildcard alias and enable IPv6 address and click save. And that's it. Your DDNS host name is set up and ready to be used. 2. Sign in to update your host name. From your PlayStation's web browser, sign in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com. This will ensure that your IP is updated in order to use Media Streamer. 3. Get your DNS server IP address. To set up the DNS server on your PS3, you will need to obtain the Media Streamer DNS server IP address. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN. Click the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your ExpressVPN account. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Setup ExpressVPN on the active subscriptions page. Select PlayStation on the left side of the screen. On the right, you will find the Media Streamer DNS server IP address. Keep it on hand for the setup. 4. Configure the DNS servers on your PS3. With your PS3 up and running, open Settings Network Settings from the main screen. Select Internet Connection Settings. A message will appear, Adjust Settings for Connection to the Internet. Select OK. Select a setting method, Custom. Select a connection method, 4.1. If you are using a wired connection, select Wired Connection. Make sure your Ethernet cable is plugged in. 4.2. If you are using a wireless connection, select Wireless. You will be asked to enter your wireless credentials if they have not already been configured. Select the Operation Mode of the Network Device, Manual Settings. Speed and duplex, select auto detect. IP address setting, select automatic. Set the DHCP host name, select do not set. DNS setting, select manual. Press the O button on the controller to change the primary DNS settings. Enter the numbers you obtained earlier. Set the secondary DNS numbers as 0.0.0.0. MTU settings, select automatic. Proxy server, select do not use. Up, select enable. Finally, press the O button to save the settings. Congratulations. Media Streamer has been set up on your PS3. Note, Media Streamer DNS is not a VPN. It does not offer the same privacy and security benefits as a VPN. 5. Register your host name to access Media Streamer with DDNS. In order to use the Media Streamer smoothly, you must register your host name on the ExpressVPN website. Follow these steps to register your host name. Go to www.expressvpn.com and click on my account on the top header bar. Sign in using your account information. After signing in, click DNS settings in the top header bar. Under Dynamic DNS Registration, enter the host name you want to register and click Save Host Name. After the process is completed, you will see an indication that the host name has been updated.